Okay, so now we have our existing grade and we've put our foundation into place. And uh, what we want to do now is get um, put the proposed grade in there, final grade, and get that volume so we can pair against the volume here, which should show up. Now, what I did is I had the existing site, I just copied it, pasted it in place, and then named it proposed site. So now I have two of these masses, one's called existing. And I'm just going to leave alone. I've already got my volume of that for future reference. And, um, and then I have proposed, and that's the one that I'm actually going to amend. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is edit this group. And I'm going to cut on the, uh, I'm going to view hidden geometry because I want to see all these triangles that I want to get rid of. And the first thing I'm going to do is kind of make a big broad stroke to get rid of of uh, all these triangles that are sort of in the way. And then I'm just going to erase the rest of them. This, I will probably just do this mass erasing here and speed it up so you're not having to sit through all this boring stuff. Okay, now that we've deleted everything in its surroundings. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to actually create a uh, series of lines. I'm going to put this on the layer for the proposed site. I want to now draw lines where I want the grade to be. Okay, so I'm going to actually just start out right at the bottom of my slab. So getting the grade below slab elevation. I'm just going to start drawing all the way around. Start working my way up. Looks about right. I'm going to cheat it up here. putting an apron in there to chest that grade out in front of the garage. 
Right, and then I'll start dropping the grade down. Mm, we'll probably go. Remember, I wanted to get down as low as I could to avoid having that retaining wall. For now, I'm going to jump down to the bottom of this patio. We're going to fix that retaining wall later. <coughs> patio. Small little step off of there is fine. Okay, back where we started. Now I'm going to cut off the foundation because I don't want to see that while I'm selecting these lines. This is the grade that I want to choose going around. All right, And these are the bounding edges along with these edges. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to triple click on that and pick all of those. Okay, we have to pick all the bounding edges that we want to use. Now this is a little tedious part, but hold down Control and then start picking all the other. Ah, uh, see, let's do that again. Start picking all these other lines, and why is it cutting that off? All those are selected. Holding down control. Ah, it's going off for some reason. Let's get all these first. Okay. It's a little tedious, but you have to pick all of your bounding edges. Gotta be careful not to do too many. down that control key. You miss one time and you'll be redoing your work again. that one by mistake. If you hold down the shift, you can cut that one back off. Alright, holding down control again. Now I want to choose all of these. Now that we've selected all the bounding edges, okay, we're going to use our sandbox tool and say from contours, and then we've we've got it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is it creates that in a group, and I'm going to explode that. I want everything to be within this group. All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of all these triangles that are inside there that we don't want. Okay, we want to open up this um, hole in the ground for our foundation. So we want to expose just where the foundation is going to go. So we're going to get rid of all these. patio is. Certainly may be better ways of doing this that I'm unaware of. Complete share. This is tedious and this is how I've taught myself how to do it. Okay, 
that should be everything that's in the way of the foundation. So now when we cut off hidden geometry, we cut our foundation back in there. You can see it's fitting pretty good. You may not even need a retaining wall there, but I would most likely be clipping a small wall off of that corner right there. Fits pretty good in there, real nicely up there. Yeah, we put my driveway in and a little turnaround area. So now we have some odd little things going on in there, but this is our site. But now when we click on it, it's not going to show a volume because we've got a big hole in there where the foundation is. So the next segment we will try to make this guy a solid here.